Hey, I have returned from vacation, and I have quite a few videos planned for the next coming weeks. One quick thing I want to say is that I won't be doing stream highlights anymore, because quite frankly, I don't like making them. Instead, I will start uploading minimally edited VODs on Sundays. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening to my quick little spiel, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Minecraft. A simple, relaxing sandbox game by day, and a struggle for survival by night. But no amount of zombies, creepers, and giant spiders even comes close to possibly the most dangerous mob in the game. The Salmon. Okay, okay, hear me out. I know this is an interesting take, to say the least, but uh, just, just listen to what I have to say, and you'll see my point. Hopefully. The Minecraft Salmon has always intrigued me, for many reasons. As a admittedly huge biology nerd, uh, this fish caught my attention since it was first added as a mob to the game, uh, f for a couple of reasons. First, I want to discuss its design in relation to its real-life counterpart. You see, the in-game salmon is visually based off of the sockeye salmon specifically. When most people think of salmon, their mind is probably going to go to one of these guys, which is most definitely the decision behind the design choices. However, few other details stood out for me. For one, the salmon in Minecraft all seem to be exclusively male. Now wait a minute, I can hear you saying, it's a video game, how can you even tell? The fish all look the same. But you see, that's where you're both right and wrong. In the games, yes, all the salmon mobs that spawn look identical, other than having three variations in size. We'll get to that in a bit. However, salmon in real life experience sexual dimorphism, which is defined as, quote, the condition where the two sexes of the same species exhibit different characteristics beyond the differences in their sexual organs, end quote. In sockeye, this gives a few key characteristics unique to either male and female salmon, which are significantly more noticeable during the spawning season, but we'll get to that in a moment. During this spawning period, both male and female salmon will turn a red color, and the males becoming a brighter shade. However, the similarities diverge from there. To quote an article from sciencing.com, quote, the male salmon always has longer jaws than the female, and there is a hook shape to the male jaws. When the time to spawn approaches, the male jaws become much more exaggerated. The male salmon's jaws grow even larger and develop a more pronounced hook." End quote. In addition to this, males will also develop a more pronounced hump just behind their heads. So, sexual dimorphism is a huge part of what makes this fish the way that it is, from both a biological and d design standpoint. Now, if we take a look at the sprite for the salmon food item in the game, you might notice the hooked mouth, also called a kipe, or, quote, a kipe is a hook-like secondary sex characteristic which develops at the distal tip of the lower jaw in some male salmonoids prior to the spawning season. Even if you look at the older sprite, you might notice the especially pronounced lump on its back, in addition to having that same kipe. Starting to catch on? Okay, but Maddie, it's a video game. They weren't going for realism. Who cares if all the salmon are based on the males? I can see why you raised that point, but yet again, I can argue to disprove that. On the official Minecraft wiki page for the salmon, right there in the trivia section, it gives us a few fun facts directly relating the in-game behavior to real life. It reads the following. They appear to be influenced by real-life sockeye salmon. Salmon also spawn in rivers because in the real world, in autumn, salmon travel upstream, returning from the ocean to the streams where they were born to lay eggs. And 
The salmon's ability to swim up waterfalls is actually based off salmon leaping into and above waterfalls in the real world so they can get to the streams they were born in. Not only is this research directly mentioned, but there are other details about the mob that show evidence of this research as well, specifically regarding the three sizes that the salmon can spawn in. Quote, 31.5% spawn as small, 52.6% spawn as normal, and 15.7% spawn as large. This is an important detail because in the real-life case of salmon, size does matter. Smaller males tend to be brushed off, and the females will usually prefer larger males as, with salmon, size relates to its social status and overall productivity, and vice versa in the case of females. There's a short guy joke in there somewhere, but I'm too lazy to find it. So, obviously, Mojang did at least some research when designing the salmon, to the point of adding nearly unnoticeable details to the mob's AI. I mean, uh, let's be real, no one really cares about how and where a fish decides to swim while they're busy trying to fend off hordes of zombies and giant spiders with a glorified stick. Okay, fine. All the salmon are males. Big whoop. Till you consider that small fact that, uh, with salmon, they kind of require a member of the opposite sex in order to, uh, reproduce. Shocking, I know. But wait, there's more. Not only are they all male, but they also seem to be stuck in a perpetual state of spawning. No, not that kind of spawning. I mean spawning, as in, quote, the eggs and sperm released or deposited into water by aquatic animals. As a verb, to spawn refers to the process of releasing the eggs and sperm, and the act of both sexes is called spawning, end quote. Jeez, off to horny jail with you guys. Jokes aside, salmon stuck in a permanent spawning state and having no females to reproduce with is definitely going to have some long-term consequences. You see, when salmon begins spawning season, they stop feeding altogether once they reach fresh water to begin their upstream journey back to their spawning grounds. Fun fact, their stomach completely disintegrates after they stop eating. The organ has no purpose anymore, and more room is needed to carry eggs or sperm. This also affects the taste and texture of the meat, and not in a positive way. So next time you go to chow down on some salmon, think about how mushy that would taste. Yuck. Now, after the salmon start to arrive at the end of their upstream journey, the males arriving before the females, they begin to stake out territories, which brings up a concern. Males are incredibly territorial and will fight amongst themselves for the right to mate. This high competition results due to the competition to reproduce. But if there's no one to reproduce with, what's a fish to do? Well, unfortunately, they would die. A lot of energy is used in the process of making it to the spawning grounds, staking out those territories and competing with the other males, and reproducing. And all this energy is coming purely out of whatever nutrients the fish had stored in its body. Remember, they don't eat once they begin spawning. And if no females are present, then all of it was for nothing. Unable to mate, they are trapped in a situation that will lead to something known as the bottleneck effect, which, quote, occurs when a population size is reduced for at least one generation, end quote. No reproduction, constantly dying, plus the fact that they are hunted by a number of other animals. The result? Complete extinction. The salmon can't reproduce, they die or get eaten, and they disappear forever. And it doesn't stop there. Not only do we lose the salmon, but we could even lose those animals that predate them as well. See, there's a little something in nature known as the food chain. If you don't know what the food chain is, well, first, you may want to move out from under that rock. And uh, second, the food chain is, well, a chain connecting every little thing by its food. Simple. So how will the decline of the salmon lead to the deterioration of Minecraft's food chain? Well, a number of mobs in the game utilize salmon as a primary means of sustenance. 
Polar bears, cats, and dolphins, for example, all rely purely on fish. Extinction of salmon would cut that already limited number of food sources in half and force these animals to rely solely on cod, the only other edible fish, to survive. Overpredation would occur and could eventually lead to the cod being unable to reproduce fast enough to keep up with those declining populations. Without any other food source, these predators would die out as well. And this is only taking into account those that prey only on fish. Foxes are another animal known to eat fish, though they have a variety of other food that they can eat. But aside from that, it's not just the animals that would be affected. Villagers and players alike would face the consequences of no salmon and later no cod as well. Not only will the extinction of all edible fish lead to biological disaster, but an economical one as well. For instance, fishermen within the villager society would be rendered obsolete and out of a job. That's a source of income. Those are jobs and food gone just like that. And as for players, it would affect them as well. Salmon has a very good rating saturation-wise and is also a very abundant resource. Although in the case of the player, they have quite a few other options for food, unless they're vegan or something. Now, I am not an economics expert, but even just thinking about how huge of an impact one little fish can have, not only on the biosphere, but within an entire economy, is a lot. So sit down, Ender Dragon. There are, we have a new most dangerous mob in town. And it's coming for the ecosystem. Hey, thanks for watching all the way through. Uh, if you've gotten this far, yeah, look, you might as well subscribe. It's right there. A anyway, uh, yeah, that was that was a video. A um, little bit of backstory. Uh, I got bored at 2 a.m. and uh, wrote a research paper about Minecraft salmon. And I thought it was kind of funny. And I thought I was also onto something too. So I decided, you know what? Time to be knockoff game theory. Jokes aside, uh, if you've made it all the way through, I'd really appreciate support. I want to get to 30 subs by the end of the year. Uh, so if you if y'all could get me there, that'd be awesome. One last thing. This is not meant to be taken seriously. It, it, if you think that I am taking a video game a bit too seriously with this, you're probably taking my video a bit too seriously. I've said the word seriously a lot, but it's fine. Anyway, uh, that, that's it. Uh, adios.